So all around us we see these very clear, beautiful bands of red, white, and dark gray color. But if we look in more detail here, we can see some interesting features of deformation, that is, changes in, uh, um, that happen to this rock after it was originally formed. For example, here we can see these linear features, these breaks in the rock, and these are called faults. And a fault is what um, we call a break or crack in a, a rock along which movement has occurred, movement or displacement. So when one, a rock breaks and one part of it moves relative to another part. And so if we look at this red band right here, for example, we can see that it continues across a break here and is offset and continues on on the other side of that offset over here. So we can reconstruct that. If we wanted to bring these two red layers back together, we'd have to push this part of the rock this way, this part of the rock this way. And so what happened originally is it was a continuous band that got faulted and moved apart like that. In detail, we see all of these small features like these faults, also folds, um, and the little cracks, but when we reassemble this in our mind and bring these layers and these pieces back to their original position, the main story and the thing that we see here is that these bands were originally continuous and these were long, uh, very expansive layers of rock.